So not that I even believed in the theory of evolution to begin with, but did you know that Charles Darwin, okay, the father of the theory of evolution, which is a theory, it's not a fact, it's not a law, but Charles Darwin was a racist and a white supremacist, and I will show you the proof in just a second, and he actually believed that white Europeans were the most evolved human beings and that everybody else that was not a white European was a savage and that they were less evolved and um, that they did not contain any talents or virtues or morals that talents virtues and morals were solely reserved for white european people that only white people could possess talent or morals or virtues or anything good basically um and he says this all in his book that came after his famous book on the origin of species the second book that he published in 1871 called the descent of man he literally spells this out um and i'm gonna read you um a paragraph from this article that you can find online it's by austin anderson it's called the dark side of darwinism and he basically just sets out what charles darwin says in his book the descent of man um the racism that is embedded in the theory of evolution so for those of you who believe in the theory of evolution which is nonsense and it's false um Please explain, but let me read this out to you. Although best known for On the Origin of Species, Darwin does not address human evolution and race until his 1871 book, The Descent of Man, in which Darwin applies his theories of natural selections to humans and introduces the idea of sexual selection. Here, listen carefully, his white supremacism is revealed. Over the course of the book, Darwin describes Australians, Mongolians, Africans, Indians, South Americans, Polynesians, and even Eskimos as savages. Now, when he says Australians, he means Aboriginal Australians, right? The word savage is disdainful, and Darwin constantly elevates white Europeans above the savages. Darwin explains that the highest races and lowest savages differ in moral disposition and in intellect. The idea that white people are more intelligent and moral persists throughout. At one point, Darwin says that the savages have low morality, insufficient powers of reasoning, and weak power of self-command. Darwin's specific consideration of intellectual capacities is especially alarming. He begins with animals, and this is what he says, no one supposes that one of the lower animals reflect whence he comes or whither he goes, what is death or what is life, and so forth. His remarks soon expand to humans. How little can the hard-worked wife of a degraded Australian savage who uses hardly any abstract words and cannot count above four exert her self-consciousness or reflect on the nature of her own existence? This is what he said about aboriginals, right? Darwin writes that Australians are incapable of complex thought and insinuates they are akin to lower animals. His perspective on non-European races is incredibly prejudiced and absurd. Modern evolutionary scholars and teachers tend to ignore or omit that component of Darwin's theories, but it hasn't gone completely unnoticed. For example, Rutledge Dennis examined Darwin's role in science, scientific racism for the Journal of Negro Education and found that in Darwin's worldview, talent and virtue were features to be identified solely with Europeans. So there you go. Charles Darwin did not believe that anyone other than a white European was capable of morality, complex thought, or just the basic features of what makes one human. This is just further reason why the theory of evolution is trash and why I don't understand why we are forcing children in schools to learn about this. There have been books worse than this one um, taken out of schools, not even, there have been books of less severity than this one taken out of schools. Why are we still teaching about the racist theory of evolution?